Hey, 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 hello, everybody. Welcome to our Wednesday where we share words of wisdom. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kalia Patton. Now, you know, we've been talking about mental health awareness. We're going to continue to talk about this um, ongoing topic, much um, needed topic for the season, for our community, our people. We need to talk about this. So, so we're going to do a, like a continuation of what we talked about from last time, but there will be another topic for this time. So our topic for this time is stop before somebody gets hurt. Stop before somebody gets hurt. And normally when we hear that statement, is usually the person <laughs> that you're asking to stop. That's the person that will get hurt the first, you know, in the beginning, because it's mostly the inner person, the inner conflict, the inner struggles, whatever they're battling with, they're hurt before they hurt someone else. So what we tend to tell them to do is stop. That means be aware of what's going on. Be aware of what's going on internally with you. Be aware of how things have affected you over the years. How things that you have gone through in your childhood, in your, your uh, adolescent, your teenage, your young adult, your middle age, your old age, wherever you are on that spectrum, realize that you've been here X amount of years. You have gone through a lot of tests, trials, storms. You have gone through some trauma. You have gone through some pain, heartache. You have gone through some grief. You have gone through a lot. So sometimes you just got to stop. You got to stop and smell the roses. Stop, smell the coffee. Stop and look at your life. Look at everything that has happened. Look at what's happening. Assess what's going on. Sometimes we react more than we reflect. Let me say that again. A lot of times, I'm going to say that, we react instead of reflect. We need to reflect more because then that will show us exactly what we're wrestling with, what we're dealing with what our struggles are, what our issues are, issues are. Just stop and assess. Stop and reflect. Reflect on these things because that is the that's the key to your healing, your deliverance when you can acknowledge where you are, what's going on in your life, how these things are impacting you, how trouble has impacted you. How just life happenings have impacted you. You hurting yourself when you don't get help for yourself. When you got stuff going on here, you hurt yourself when you don't deal with yourself. You got to deal with yourself. Sometimes we let things go on and on and on until it becomes this big thing. Everybody see it. See, we could, we could have treated it when it was small, in a small growing phase. I mean, it was so minute. Nobody could hardly tell what was going on. But instead of us dealing with it in a small infancy set stage, we wait until this thing gets to be like a big, giant mountain. Everybody see it now. Everybody knows something wrong with you now. Everybody know that you got something that you're dealing with because you're wearing it. Okay? It's so big, it's not, it's not just internally. You wearing this thing like clothes. Everybody see what you got on. They see the color, they see the shape, they see the size of it, they see all the imperfections of it. They see it because you're wearing it. Your, your mouth is expressing what it is that you're wearing. Because you've been carrying this thing. 
you've been dealing with this thing. It's, it's getting heavy on you. It's like a, a, a weighted jacket. And I'm still wearing this weighted jacket and I feel so heavy and I feel so down and out and I feel so depressed and I feel so old because it's pulling all of my strength. It's pulling all of my youthfulness out. I used to have joy. I used to be at peace. I used to be excited. You know, I, I used to have all of these strong emotions that, that signify life. But now, I feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. Literally. Literally. The weight of the world and the pressures of life and the pressures of things are on my shoulders. And I've been carrying this and carrying this and carrying this. And everybody see what I'm carrying because they see it written all over my face. They see it because I'm wearing it. I wear it every day. It has become a habit. It's just, it has become a thing. Stop. Stop. Let's look at it. Let's look at where we are. Let's assess where we are. Let's reflect on some things. Let's, let's start writing down how we actually feel. Sometimes people need to write things down. Because they feel in a certain way. They can't articulate it. They can't really talk to nobody. But they just need to write it down. Like you're doing a journal or a reflection. A day-to-day -day reflection. This is how I feel. This is where I, I am. This is, this is where I desire to be. These are my goals to get there. But what's standing in the way of me achieving my goals? It's because I'm right here. I'm down and out. I'm depressed. My mother didn't speak life into me. My, my, my mother didn't affirm me. My father didn't affirm me. Uh, uh, my spouse didn't affirm me. My children didn't affirm me. Whatever, whatever your issue is. Now I'm sitting here and I'm looking at it on paper. I didn't have the strength enough to talk it out to nobody. But I had to write it down. And I had to kind of uh, observe it. I had to really look at it. And really just kind of see what I'm actually feeling. I have to see it on paper. See, it's, it's one thing to feel it on the inside. It's another thing when you see it on paper. When you see it on paper, it's almost like a, a wake-up call. It's almost like a, wow, aha moment. Really? This is what I'm dealing with. This is the pain. But I didn't have time to talk it over with my family. I didn't have time to talk it over with my best friend. Because I don't think my best friend really understands what's going on inside of me. I think half of the issues that people deal with. And half of the decisions that they made poorly. They wouldn't have made them. If they just would have sat down. And wrote things out. How they felt. And began to talk it over with the Lord. Talk it over with a shrink. Talk it over with a counselor. Talk it over with a mentor. Sometimes you can't, you can't really tell people how you feel. You get to write it down so you can see it for yourself and organize it on paper. So when you do get a chance to confront or come before someone to tell them what it is that you're going through, you are already, you got a written summary of everything from A to Z. What's happening with you. And sometimes when you write. You write down more. Than what you think. Than what you can actually. Say. Because you're taking out the time. To, to just write it, write down everything. Just, just, just writing it down. Everything that's going on in my heart. Everything that's going on. In my mind. Everything that's going on. That. I wasn't at liberty to say because some things I just can't say. I may be able to tell my best friend some things, but there may be some deep things. I know my friend wouldn't understand. I can't share. I can't share. I got to write this down on paper. These are, these are instances of moments that I go through 
I may have to just write this stuff down on paper because it's too deep and toxic. They're not going to be able to help me through this. So maybe I need to be selective in how I share my information, but I need to get it out. Too many people that hold stuff in, what do they do? When they hold in stuff in, they hurt other people. They, they result in hurting other people. They say hurting people hurt other people. We've seen it. We've seen it countless of, amount of time. We've seen the wake of these shootings, these school shootings, church shootings, all of this going on. We can, we can, we can say mental, but let's go a little deeper than that. These folks are hurting, okay? Something going on here. Something going on here. And it has consumed them to such a degree that their option, their choice was to hurt other people so that people can see how they hurt. Does it make it right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't make it right. Matter of fact, that's not the right approach at all. But many people have fallen into this trap. It's a trap set by the enemy. You can't hold, that lets us know. You can't hold that type of information and just keep it in a, in a little box inside your mind, in a tiny little case inside your heart. You, you can't do that. You're going to explode at some point. You're going to explode. It may not be on, on your best friend. It may not be on your spouse. It may not be on your children. But it's going to come out at some point. And it may be damaging. You may not go out and kill people. You may not go out, but your mouth is like a sword. When you're when a hurting person begins to speak what's going on inside of them because they had it has gotten to the point where they couldn't hold it and contain it any longer, they're damaging. They're toxic. They can blow something up just by opening up their mouth. They don't have to touch anybody. They don't have to put their hand to a gun. They don't have to have any kind of weapon. This is their weapon. Their mouth. And we have to be careful. Stop before somebody. They could be you. They could be someone in your path. Gets hurt. If you're already hurt. Let's just, let's just deal with the issue. Okay, mentally, you already got some stuff going on. Let's deal with you. You hurt. We acknowledge that. You hurt. We acknowledge that. You dealing with stuff. We are acknowledging that. Let's begin to unload. Let's begin to process everything. Let's begin to, if we got to, write it down on paper. Articulate this stuff. Sometimes talking, talking it out. You know, just have a dialogue with the Lord. And just begin to just tell the Lord, okay, Lord, I hope your ears are open. I'm ready to tell you how I feel. Because I need to release myself. And I need, I need you to talk back to me. To tell me what I need to do. Because I'm dealing with pain. I'm dealing with hurt. I'm dealing with trauma. I'm dealing with issues. I'm dealing with stuff that I, I'm about to snap. I, I can't take it no more. But I'm going to have to let this stuff out. Because there's a there, there's that small window. A lot of times people slip off into paranoia. They'll slip off into a bipolar situation. They'll slip off into something they would not have ever slipped off into. And what they deal, what they use to cope with the pain is not helpful. Drugs are not helpful. Marijuana is not helpful. Alcohol is not helpful. Sex is not helpful. It complicates the situation. Picking up pornography, picking up bad habits, Overeating, emotionally eating, 
is not healthy. It won't benefit you. It's further complicating your situation. We got to deal with what's going on inside of you and you can't ice it with these things that we just mentioned that will cause other problems. <laughs> problems on top of problems lead to more problems. We just can't do it. We just can't do it. We just can't pile problems on top of problems. We got to deal with the issues at hand. What's going on in my mind? Let's deal with that. What is going on in this heart? Let's deal with that. And when we deal with those issues, we will begin the process of the healing. Healing is a process. It's not a fly by night. It's not a Rome wasn't built in a day situation because you know Rome's not built in a day. It couldn't have been. It's not a blink your eyes and it's over with. No, it's not over. We can't be insensitive to issues that people go through. Just because you've heard the story over and over again. You've heard the story many times. People deal with their own individual issues. And it reflect, affects them in a, in, in a different way than other people. We got to be sensitive to what's going on with people. We got to have a, some kind of understanding. They weren't all crazy because at some point they were sane before they did that. Which lets you know whatever your environment is, sometimes it fosters certain types of behaviors that stem from people. People just don't become evil. They have been in an environment that has cultivated evil. What they were connected to, what they surrounded themselves by, and all of the trauma of their past, present, that's going on with them. Add all that to it. That's what causes people to go into a snapping season. That's what causes people to get outside of their mind, their character, their nature, all of that. It wasn't just one thing. It was many different things that shaped their ideology, that shaped their attitude, their, their, their aspirations, their, their desires, their decisions. And like I said, when you lay pain on top of pain, hurt on top of hurt, coping mechanism on top of coping mechanism, that it, it don't that don't work. It don't work. Because those things will assist you in making the wrong choices. Those drugs will assist you in making bad choices. Choices that will land you in prison. Choices that will land you in the grave. Because it could backfire on you. So, so this is what I'm saying. Stop before somebody, yes, including you, is hurt we need to identify what's going on you may be your own worst enemy and the fact that you won't deal with your pain and you won't deal with your struggle you cheating yourself you cheating yourself when you need to be healing yourself you cheating yourself when you need to be dealing with yourself I'm talking real talk now. And this goes for everybody. Now, I know a certain group of people, everybody. You cheating yourself when you don't deal with yourself. Let's deal with yourself today. Deal with yourself. Come to terms with yourself. Acknowledge that yes, Things have happened to me. Things that I have allowed. Things that I was being put in harm's way. I was vulnerable. I was a victim to what happened. Whatever that situation is. 
because we can't blame ourselves for things people have done to us. And then sometimes we'll say, well, I allowed it. Well, I think a good bit of the time, if you really knew <laughs> how it would have ended or the process, you wouldn't have gotten into it in the first place. And if you were strong enough here by having a good, stable background, upbringing, that would have encouraged you not to make certain choices, you wouldn't have landed where you did. But we bought some sins. We went through some things and we've learned some things along the way. Experience is a great teacher. Yes. But with those experiences, all of them were not good. And they caused us some inflicted pain, some anger, some issues, some struggles. But we got to stop and take the time to deal with ourselves. Begin to find out what can we do to bring ourselves to the place where we process everything that we've gone through and we heal, go through our healing process because it's a process altogether. And what takes us through our healing process can be many things. But you got to be in certain environments to get healing. You got to nurture yourself in different ways. Gospel music, music that, that connects with you dealing with the pains that you have dealt with. A strong message positive message, encouraging message from a leader, church, pastor, evangelist, teacher that will further help you to maneuver through this pain and process this pain. It ain't your fault. Sometimes people think it was my fault the reason why I went through this, I went through it. But Helping you maneuver through that. And the word of God. You can flip through the word and find scriptures. You can Google. When I'm feeling lonely. When I'm feeling abused. When I'm feeling rejected. When I'm feeling like someone has mistreated me. Those scriptures will come up. You will find them. Talking to God. That's that's ultimate. That's, that's, the, that's the ultimate one. But. We got to deal with this pain, y'all. We got to deal with this trauma. We got to deal with what's going on inside of us before we hurt ourselves and we hurt others in the process. So this is our Wild Wednesday. I pray that it was something that I have said that has encouraged you, that has inspired you to deal with you. Whatever's going on inside of you, whatever that trauma is, whatever that pain is, deal with you all right you all we'll be back next time for another wild wednesday bye bye <laughs>